Today I'm going to share three easy designs that are all made with a dotting tool. First, a dotted monochrome gradient. Start with some white and add a tiny bit of black to stop it from being too bright. Use a tiny dotting tool to place a dot in the corner of your nail. Repeat on all your nails, then mix up the next colour by adding slightly more black to the white. Add a curve above the first dot. Keep repeating the process, making every row darker as you go. Now I'm using acrylic paints because when I tried to do the dots with nail polish, it just got sticky and goopy really quickly and I had to keep mixing fresh batches over and over again. By using acrylic paints, I can keep using the same batch of white, just adding a little more black for every row and it will stay wet and be easy to work with for the entire design. Now for a dotted ombre. An ombre is when you use a different colour on every nail, slowly fading from one shade on your thumb to another on your pinky. Start with the little finger, which is going to be grey, and with a larger dotter, place dots at your cuticle going a third to halfway down your nail. Mix with a tiny bit of black to make it a shade darker, and add some more dots, making sure to overlap some of them. Switch to a smaller dotting tool to add some variety. Continue to do this over the other nails using the next shade and the ombre each time. You don't have to choose the colours I went with, just take a look at your collection and line up your polishes until you find five that blend really nicely together from one to the next to the next. Let's end with some basic dotted lace. With a large dotter, place a dot a third of the way from your tip, continue the dots, curving them to make a smile line. Use a polished brush to then fill in the French tip. You might need two coats. While that dries, use a toothpick or a tiny dotting tool to do a line of small pink dots along the inside of the curve. With your base colour and a medium dotter, place grey dots inside the large pink dots you did at the beginning. Then finish it all off with some tiny dots in between them. That's it. I hope you like the designs. My favourite is the first monochrome look, but which one is yours? Let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.